hear me? Come back to the ship now. Europa Report. Watch it now on iTunes before it's in theaters, August 2nd. Most science fiction films really, you know, stray towards the science fantasy aspect, but this one was much closer to the films that I really love, like, you know, something like 2001 or Sunshine, where there's a lot of scientific, you know, integrity to the story as well. Three, two, one. I was just blown away because of the attention to detail in uh, all of the science and, and the accurate way in which they depicted this journey. It's set up like a documentary that's made by the company that sent out the astronauts in space. From one perspective, you can say our mission actually began 400 years ago. That's when Galileo first saw <laughs> Jupiter. If life exists on Europa, it will be the single most profound discovery in human history. The floating movement of astronauts was achieved in, in a number of ways, you know, anywhere from what you see here, which is an actor on, on a dolly uh, moving through the shot to floating on what was called a parallelogram, which is basically a balanced bar uh, that this actor is on, which lets us rise the actor very fluidly and drop the actor. And in some scenes, we also did some wire work as well to achieve a weightless effect. So here we have you know, a still frame of one of the green screen shots of the astronauts uh, that we shot floating on the stage. So you know, once we have a very nice fluid shot, uh, we then you know, can jump to the final and see you know, just how we integrated them along the surface. It's OK. Andre's OK. We're the film needed to have a uh, a creature of some kind that lived in the water underneath the ice. I want to see if it's reacting to my lights. I'm going to turn them off. For a lot of the design of the lights, we looked at uh, vampire squid. 30 minutes for deep I'm seeing it through the ice. It really just helps it be strange and mysterious, yet, you know, roughly adhere to what, you know, biological, uh, bioluminescent creatures on Earth would be doing. I'm really excited to see the audience reaction to this movie because there's really nothing else like it. The biggest challenges in tackling this film, I think, really were, you know, trying to create visuals that, that serve the story and were dramatic, yet also, you know, very much adhered to a scientific reality. That made it a little bit tricky, but it was a pretty fun challenge, ultimately. Europa Report. Watch it now on iTunes before it's in theaters, August 2nd.